American Top 40. This is Casey Kasem, and now the first Top 40 hit by the group whose English producer is a hundred times better known than they are, and he's never been in the Top 40. He's the most bizarre and most publicized new artist on the scene today. Can't pick up a publication that deals with popular music without finding his picture plastered all over the place. And news publications like Time and Newsweek have already done feature stories on him. So it doesn't hurt a new group like this one to be produced by a famous personality. An artist whose fame so far is way ahead of his record sales. But if the critics are right, that'll come too. His name is David Bowie. And he not only produced this song, he wrote it. The group is Mott the Hoople. And they're at number 37 with All the Young Dudes. Casey's Coast to Coast. This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood, and it's time now for the current hit by an English singer-songwriter who was so intimidated by his fear of success, he kept trying to run away from it. The artist, David Bowie, who was a teenager trained as a commercial artist, joined several local rock groups in England and later became deeply involved in the study of Buddhism and other philosophies. Beginning back in the late 60s, he cut several albums, a hit single called Space Oddity, joined a touring mime troupe, and returned to his study of Buddhism. Looking back on that early chaotic period of his life, he says, I was always running away from things. If there was a chance it would lead me to success, I'd retreat. I was afraid of being channeled into the wrong direction. I didn't realize that one thing can lead to another. That being a musician isn't necessarily a dead-end street. End of quote. Well, as one of the forerunners of Glitter Rock and the New Rock Theatrics, Bowie has truly become an international superstar. And this week, his eighth chart hit moves to number five on American Top 40. Its title, strangely enough, is Fame. I'm Casey Kasem. Now we're up to a song by the man who just keeps reaching for higher and higher goals. First, he became an international rock star. Then he became a movie star. Then he went for it on Broadway. This is the man who's credited, if that's the right word, for creating Glitter Rock, which he introduced through his character Ziggy Stardust. After a while, he changed his image, becoming the Thin White Duke and scoring his biggest hit single, the number one smash in 1975 called Fame. But sold-out concerts and million-selling albums weren't enough for Ziggy Stardust and the Thin White Duke, so he starred in a movie called The Man Who Fell to Earth. Good reviews. Then he did another film, Just a Gigolo. More good reviews. So what else was there? Well, how about shooting for what many actors consider the Mount Everest of their craft, the Broadway stage? And that's exactly what he did. Last winter, he played the title role in The Elephant Man, the moving drama about the cultured, gentle, and pathetically misshapen Englishman, John Merrick. And he broke the Broadway record for a non-musical by selling out 125 performances. Who is this glutton for glory? Why, it's the very talented and amazingly versatile David Bowie. His latest single is a cooperative venture with the British supergroup Queen. At number 33 this week, here are Queen and David Bowie with Under Pressure. American, American Top 40. At number 23, here's the latest hit by a superstar who recently turned down $2 million, not to sing, but to act in a movie. David Bowie reportedly was offered $2 million to star in a TV remake of the classic film Lawrence of Arabia. And he thought hard about that $2 million, but finally turned it down. His reason was that he couldn't afford to give up the year it would take to make the film. This week, actor and singer David Bowie moves up a big 11 notches within the survey to number 23 with Blue Jean. Blue Jean. Casey's Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Now, over the years, glitter rocker David Bowie has been known for some really off-the-wall performances. Well, now, David Bowie is on the wall. You see, he's just launched a new line of designer wallpaper. Going back as far as the late 60s, David Bowie has always been a performer who's done the unusual. For years, he appeared on stage as a far-out space cadet called Ziggy Stardust. And he's also gone completely in the other direction, appearing on a Christmas TV special in a duet with Bing Crosby. 
Over the years, David has always been involved with the visual aspects of music. He's designed many of his album covers. He's designed a lot of his own clothing. He's even designed a new home in Switzerland, where he lives with his new wife, the supermodel named Iman. Now, David's into something new. He's teamed up with one of the world's most famous interior designers, London's Laura Ashley. She's the queen of the casual country look, with a chain of stores around the world selling her fabrics and wallpapers. David's designed two different wallpapers for Laura Ashley. One is a conceptual design with whirls and swirls interspersed with heroic figures. And the other is based on Greek mythology, a pattern built around the Minotaur, a creature who was half man and and half bull. But you won't find the David Bowie wallpaper in any of the Laura Ashley stores. It's being sold as a limited edition through a prestigious London art gallery. And that's our update on David Bowie, a sometimes off-the-wall performer whose designs are currently being seen on the wall. Now, on with the countdown. Recently, Business Age magazine released a list of England's top 50 richest pop stars. And topping the list is not Paul McCartney, Elton John, or Mick Jagger. It's a rocker whose real name is David Robert Jones. Details coming up. KC counts them down. Now, England's highly respected financial magazine, Business Age, recently released a list of England's top 50 richest pop stars. Now, you'd think the top would belong to Paul McCartney or Elton John or Mick Jagger. Instead, the richest of the rich is a rocker whose real name is David Robert Jones. Now, this isn't a ranking of the entertainers who have earned the most money over the past year, like Forbes magazine puts out every year. What Business Age set out to do was to calculate the lifetime fortune of England's biggest pop stars. And here's how the top five stack up. At number five, with $333 million, Elton John. Number four, with $367 million, Phil Collins. At number three, with $459 million, is Welsh singer Tom Jones. And in second place, with $868 million, is the richest Beatle of them all, Sir Paul McCartney. Coming in ahead of Paul at number one is a man whose real name is David Robert Jones. He grew up in a rough section of London, and according to Business Age magazine, he has amassed a fortune of $917 million, making David Bowie England's richest rock star, which apparently is news to him. You see, after hearing about the list, David Bowie said, quote, I could only imagine that their list was compiled alphabetically. <laughs> That's our report on the richest pop stars in England. Now, on with the countdown. I'm Casey Kasem with our Y2K Chronological Countdown, the 40 days that changed music. While Led Zeppelin was changing the face of music with heavy-duty rock, a British blues musician named David Jones was changing the face of, well, David Jones. First reincarnated as David Bowie, he metamorphosized again as Ziggy Stardust on February 10, 1972. Ziggy was a heavily made-up, gender-bending, orange-haired space creature. David Bowie went on to become a musical trendsetter. David Bowie with his song, Changes. I'm Casey Kasem.